Okay, now it's your turn to have a go. Um, let's say Bank Crazy is giving you a, an interest rate of um, of 19.3% per per year. That's that's really high. 19.3%. Uh, 19, 19 now um, you, you're going to put $620 into uh, into the account for 11 years. So how how much will you have in total after the 11 years? Okay. So um, remember your, your your diagram will look something like this. Uh, th this will be your uh, original, and then after one year, you're going to have this much, and then in in the second year, in the second year, this thing here will be your your new 100%. Okay, and then and then you you're, you're going to get another another 19.3% interest. So um, this this will be the amount after um, after year two and so on. Um, draw draw two diagrams and then jump to the dot dot dot. Uh, and then, and then jump to uh, year 11. Okay. Um, and then basically this, this amount here is, uh, is what we want to know. Okay. Remember, remember year, year 10 would be somewhere around here, which you're not going to draw, but the year, this, this of year 10 would be your new 100% uh, on, on year 11. Well, do whatever you have to do. Um, press pause and have a go. Find out how much you have in total after 11 years. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so your diagram will look something like this. Hang on. Um, so let, let's draw it here. Uh, zero, zero, one. Your, your original would be uh, 620. Okay. Now after, after uh, year, year one, oh, sorry, after year one, you will have, um, you will have an extra bit up here. So that would be 1.19. Three, okay. Uh, have a quick glance. Two, two digits here is uh, nineteen percent. Okay. Well, anyway, this um, this this uh, after after year one, you have six uh, twenty times one point one nine three. Okay. And then uh, jump to year two. Year two would look something like this: zero. Zero one. Your new one hundred percent would be six two zero. Uh, sorry, six two zero times one point one nine three. Okay, but then after after uh, year two, after year two, you have you will have another another bit of interest. Um, uh, one point one nine three. So up here would be six two zero times one point. One uh, nine three squared. Okay. Now done. We've done two diagrams. Let's let's just do the dot 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 and jump to year year eleven. Okay. Um, year eleven would look something like this. Zero zero one here. Well, re remember <clears throat> on year two. This is this is to the power of one really. Um, well, th this will, if you look at the power here. It's one less than less than uh, the, the the year two. Well, this is year after year eleven. Hang on, after year uh, year eleven, I, I know the power will be one less, so it will be to the power of ten. Okay, uh, hang on, let me let me do this. Uh, one point one nine three to the power of ten. Uh, this would be uh, my original six hundred and twenty. So um, uh, at the at the end of year eleven, uh, we should have six two zero times one point one nine uh, three to the power of eleven. Okay, so let's put this in. So um, so this would be your uh, this would be your final answer. Uh, punch this into your calculator, and it should give you a number. Okay, all right. Uh, this one here. Let's say the population of a city is. Um, uh, is seven million. Okay. Uh, let let's say the city grows three point one percent each year. So what will be the um, the population of this city um, in uh, in let's say uh, in um, in eight years time? Okay. So so after eight years, uh, what will be the population of this city? Currently, it's seven million. If it grows by uh, three percent each year after eight years, what will be the population of this city? So press pause and have a go. So your diagram would look something like this: um, uh, zero, 
this here, zero, zero, one, uh, original would be seven million. Okay, seven million. And then, and then after year one, it's going to grow by three percent. So it's one point zero three, uh, sorry, three point one percent. So have a quick glance at this. Two digits. That means uh, three percent. So three point one would be would be this decimal here. Okay. Um. Af after after uh, after year one, this would be seven million seven million uh, times one point zero three one. Okay. And then uh, year two would look something like this. Uh, year two would look something like this. Hang on, one. Uh, this would be seven million uh, times one point zero three one. Okay, and then up here would be seven million, seven million, uh, one two three times one point uh, zero three one squared. Okay, uh, after. After year two, okay, um, and and then jump, just do the dot 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 to jump to um, jump to year year eight. So after year eight, hang on. So year eight would look something like this. Um, year eight would. Hang on, let me clear this. So zero here, zero here, one here. Uh, year after year after year. Year eight. Um, well, rem remember, if, if you look at this here, this is always uh, one one less than than this. So this would be um, would be to the power of seven. Okay, so so seven million. Hang on, uh, seven million uh, times one point zero three one to the power of one less than the eight. Okay, one less than the eight. So to the power of seven. And then, uh, and then our final answer would be seven million, one, two, three, uh, times one point zero three one to the power of eight. Okay, so so this would be your your final answer. Punch this into your calculator, and that will give you the population of this city after after eight years, assuming it grows three point one percent each year. Okay.